Glitch number one, using the armored or normal heal station as the scientist and the warp. If you go to the imp place in the campaign and you place a heal station right about here, you can glitch right out of bounds just like so. And there's a bit you can do around here. Nothing too crazy. There is still the borders, so you can't go fully out of bounds. However, you can explore a little bit and there is a decent amount of room to look around. Glitch number two is going to require the all-star if you run over here and you hop up here and you dash over here. All right, now we got to wait for our dash one more time, so hold on, everybody. Okay, here we go. Now that we have it all back up, you're going to place a dummy right around here. And then you're going to want to turn towards the wall and hit triangle. And what this should do is, yep glitch you right outside the map and from here you can explore you can shoot through these sewers now the textures might be a little bit glitchy as you can see here however you are now out of the map feel free to explore however if you do fall off keep in mind that you're gonna want to respawn otherwise your game will crash most people might already know this glitch and it does require a ability that is not base but if you use the sombrero bean bomb against this vending machine or in a couple other spots, you will go flying and you can even get on top of Crazy Dave's treehouse using this. This next glitch has a couple of steps, but first you're going to want to head right over to Garden Ops and load into a custom multiplayer match right here. You're going to want to make sure it's invite only so that way no one joins and messes it up. And you're going to want to set it to whatever difficulty you decide. I recommend easy, but for this, I'm going to go crazy. Once you are in and you choose in any character you please, all you got to do is wait for the timer up top to hit zero. As you can see, round starting in three, two, one. And after that hits zero, you want to move forward a little bit, go into your pause menu, wait till respawn hits zero, and then return to the backyard. After this, run down to the infinity time on whatever side you might have done it on and skip the cutscene. You don't have to skip it, but I'm going to. What this glitch does is set the difficulty to whatever you set it to. So as you can see here, difficulty crazy. Normally, that would be blurred out and there would be no difficulty next to the name. This next glitch is super easy and works on any statue and with any character. A lot of people like to say it doesn't work with certain characters. However, it does work with everyone. If you go through to any statue in the backyard and you hit circle for customize and pause for the menu, you should get a screen that looks like this. Back out of the pause menu and walk away and you will now be invincible no matter what you do. Quickly here, I'll just prove it to you. This plant comes up to me, hits me. No damage. I am immune to damage. After working on this glitch for about four tries, I realized that this is the first glitch on the list that simply does not work. The glitch was supposed to make it so time stopped and all the AIs would not move or attack or anything. But as you can see, the screen is blurry, I did it right, and still, things are moving and things will still attack you. So this glitch is confirmed to not work. Stopping time in the backyard does not work, at least on console. For the final working glitch of the video that I've been able to find that actually works on console is a team swap glitch. Super easy, I'm showing you now, but in case you did not understand, all you gotta do is go to the description, there'll be a video explaining it. But as you can see, you can be a zombie that can attack zombies or a plant that attacks plants. You know you did this right if you're going for the zombie team. If when you load in to uh, Zomburger, you run around a bit, zombies will actually attack you. Now, all we want to do is wait this time around. And now, as you can see, I am running around. I have a green health bar, but I am a zombie. And as you can see here, I can attack other zombies. Kill them just as easy. See that? Pop, pop, pop. I still got experience and all that. And the plants, the plants don't want to hurt me anymore. Isn't that great? If you think there's a glitch that I might have missed or didn't try and it does work on console, please let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to make a part two. If you've made it this far into the video, comment RL Brain to confuse the people that weren't loyal and didn't make it to the end of the video. And of course, if you didn't know about any of these glitches or this video was helpful or just entertaining you, please hit that subscribe button. It helps out a ton and it's free.